In the annals of biblical history, a figure draped in the cloak of mystery exists. Enoch, a man of ancient times whose very existence begets more questions than answers. Enoch, the seventh link in the chain stretching from Adam to Noah, emerges from the pages of the book of Genesis as a beacon of righteousness in a world overshadowed by wickedness. His life is veiled in profound divine significance, beckoning us to contemplate the celestial connection that set him apart. The book of Genesis weaves a tale of Enoch, a man who walked with God and graced this earthly realm for 365 years before an extraordinary occurrence occurred. This very event, etched in the pages of Genesis chapter 5 verse 24, stands as both captivating and bewildering. Enoch was no more, for God took him. The sacred script hints at Enoch's unparalleled fate, a departure that defies the conventional narrative of mortality. But why? Why was Enoch handpicked for this extraordinary odyssey? Watch till the end to unravel the enigma of Enoch, a trip that vows to test the boundaries of our comprehension when it comes to matters of faith, life, and destiny. Trust me, you want to take advantage of it. Enoch's story begins in the book of Genesis, where a detailed genealogy unfolds. He was born 622 years after the creation of the world, and his birth came after the days of Adam. His birthplace is Canaan, a region located in East Eden, and was the son of Jared and Baraka. Enoch's family tree is intricately linked to the early generations of humanity, tracing back to Adam and Eve. While we can't say for sure if Enoch ever met Adam, the possibility exists that he learned about God and the Garden of Eden from the very lips of the first man. Initially, Adam and Eve attempted to raise their children in righteousness, inspired by the example of their righteous son, Abel. However, as time passed, both the descendants of Cain and Seth deviated from this path. Cain's descendants became increasingly violent and materialistic, while Seth's descendants gradually embraced the negative influences of Cain's lineage. Despite being part of Seth's lineage, Enoch took a unique and remarkable path. He did not succumb to the materialistic and violent tendencies of his contemporaries. Instead, he walked with God, signifying a profound and intimate spiritual connection. While others were preoccupied with worldly pursuits like constructing fortresses, satisfying their desires, and indulging in worldly pleasures, Enoch chose to walk in close communion with God. The exceptional life of Enoch serves as a powerful call to humanity. Even in a world where many may stray from the path of righteousness, Enoch's life demonstrates that it is possible to maintain a close and intimate relationship with God. In those ancient days, life was different. People lived for centuries, and the stories of God and the Garden of Eden were passed down through the generations. When Enoch reached 65, a pivotal event occurred in his life. The birth of his son, Methuselah, triggered a transformation in Enoch. Perhaps witnessing the miracle of birth or feeling the weight of responsibility as a father drew him closer to God. Whatever the reason, Enoch's life took a new direction. Enoch's faith profoundly pleased God. His relationship with God was marked by dedication and obedience. Enoch lived a righteous life. His faith wasn't a mere adherence to rules and rituals but a heartfelt connection with the Creator. Despite the moral decay surrounding him, Enoch's faith remained unshaken. Hebrews chapter 11 the Faith Hall of Fame, commends him as one who pleased God. It emphasizes the inseparable link between religion and Enoch's extraordinary translation. By faith, Enoch was taken from this life so that he did not experience death. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 5. Enoch's faith propelled him into a realm where mortality's chains could not bind him. 
Enoch's extraordinary life took an even more remarkable turn when he reached 365. The Bible tells us, Enoch walked faithfully with God. Then he was no more because God took him away. Genesis chapter 5 verse 24. Enoch's departure from this world was unlike anything humanity had witnessed before. While most people in his time experienced death, Enoch experienced something entirely different. He was no more. God, in his infinite wisdom and mercy, chose to spare Enoch from the grip of death. Instead, Enoch was taken away from this earthly realm and into the presence of God himself. This mysterious event raises many questions. How did Enoch's departure occur? What did he see and experience as he transitioned from this life to the next? These questions remain in mystery, as the Bible provides us with only a brief glimpse into this extraordinary event. But why was Enoch chosen for this unparalleled journey? Some believe Enoch's translation is a precursor to the prophesied rapture, where believers will be taken into heaven during the end times. Another perspective suggests Enoch's translation was a divine strategy to protect him from the impending flood. As the world descended into moral depravity, God chose to spare Enoch from the catastrophe that would reshape the world. Enoch's removal was not an escape but a purposeful intervention in the face of impending judgment. Enoch's life mirrors other faithful biblical figures, such as Elijah, who stood as a solitary prophet against many false prophets. As we journey deeper into the enigma of Enoch's life, we uncover the man himself and the profound legacy he left behind. Enoch's story is not confined to the pages of Genesis but extends into ancient texts and sacred writings. One of the most intriguing aspects of Enoch's legacy is the Book of Enoch. This ancient text, believed to have been composed in Hebrew or Aramaic and preserved in Giez, has captivated scholars and believers alike for centuries. It is a collection of writings that offer insights into Enoch's experiences, visions, and encounters with heavenly beings. The book is a multifaceted work that spans various genres, including apocalyptic literature, ethical teachings, and prophetic visions. It presents Enoch as a figure entrusted with divine knowledge and the universe's secrets. Enoch is taken to heaven in this text, where he becomes the guardian of celestial treasures, the chief of archangels, and the immediate attendant on the throne of God. The Book of Enoch reveals a world beyond the earthly realm, where Enoch learns the secrets and mysteries of creation. He fulfills God's decrees and communicates his revelations with a host of angels by his side. Enoch's role as a mediator between heaven and earth is central to this narrative, reinforcing his significance in the eyes of believers. Detailed videos on the Book of Enoch can be found on our channel as well as on our The Book of Enoch playlist. The Epistle of Jude in the New Testament directly references Enoch's prophetic words, drawing from the Book of Enoch. This connection between Jude and Enoch's prophecies played a significant role in accepting and using the Book of Enoch within early Christian circles. Enoch's themes of divine judgment, angels, and the corruption of humanity resonated with early Christians, especially those who embraced millennialism. However, as theological perspectives evolved within Christianity, the Book of Enoch gradually fell out of favor, particularly with the rise of amillennialism. It became a more marginalized text, limited primarily to Ethiopian circles of the Oriental Orthodox Church. Enoch's story also intersects with other traditions, such as the Latter-day Saint movement, particularly in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Here, Enoch is regarded as the founder of a righteous city named Zion, a place of purity amidst a wicked world. This perspective is found in the Pearl of Great Price and the Doctrine and Covenants, emphasizing Enoch's pivotal role in preserving scripture and prophesying about Noah and the Great Flood. In Islam, Enoch is identified with Idris and considered a prophet. While the Quran does not provide an extensive account of Idris, 
Islamic tradition fills in some details about this revered figure. Like the biblical Enoch, Idris is depicted as a wise and righteous man who walked closely with God. Idris is mentioned in several places in the Quran, albeit briefly. His name is often associated with those who endured with patience and righteousness. This reference to Idris being raised to a high station mirrors the biblical narrative's idea of Enoch being taken to heaven. It highlights the special status and closeness to God attributed to both figures in their respective religious traditions. The Islamic tradition also expands on Idris's wise teacher role. He is believed to have brought knowledge and wisdom to his people, guiding them in matters of faith and righteous living. Idris is often associated with developing various sciences and disciplines, including writing and astronomy. In this sense, he shares similarities with the Enoch of the Book of Enoch, who received divine revelations and insights into the mysteries of the universe. Enoch's legacy extended far beyond his own time. His life and departure left an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of those who heard his story. Enoch's faith, his walk with God, and his unique release served as a testament to the reality of the spiritual realm and the existence of a loving and merciful creator. Enoch's legacy continued through his great-grandson, Noah, who would play a pivotal role in the history of humanity. Thank you for joining us. Like, subscribe, and share your thoughts below. Also, watch our video on the Egyptian Book of the Dead. A captivating yet mysterious artifact from a civilization buried in the sands of time.